Welcome to our fun night of talking about cleaning. We had a little bit of a joke with a uh, dear friend, Sean, earlier, and uh, I actually do enjoy cleaning. And we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, um, the importance of having um, non-toxic cleaners around our family, around our kids, um, in our home, um, in our car, and even out in our boats and things like that. So, um, you know, one thing that I think um, sometimes we forget uh, or you know the average person out there thinks that what they're buying at the store is safe because it's being sold it should be safe right there's a lot of things out there that aren't safe to use and um, I know after tonight's presentation you're going to have a better understanding on why you just need to be more aware um, and just cautious with what with what you're actually um, purchasing especially when you see some of the information we're going to share with you um, this evening um, so First of all, let's talk about the environmental burden and the excess consumption and excess waste. Most cleaning products are ready to use and contain water. And this means um, you're paying for the watered down substance uh, that you have to consume a lot of. And specialty cleaners are often a waste of money. Many cleaning products are not uh, biodegradable. And the waste from cleaning products and their packaging continues to build up, creating a burden on the environment. And, you know, when I looked at this company over 33 years ago, um, some people were starting to get concerned and there was like that green movement. But Neolife was green back in 1958 because they saw this coming. And I was in my early 20s. 20s when I was introduced to Neolife and, and, and some of you know I was working as a police officer in the city and I do remember working downtown Toronto um, and, and breathing in um, car exhaust constantly. I remember going into the police station and the cleaners were always waxing the floors and using these toxic harsh cleaners and I had really bad allergies and it really bothered me um, but again I still didn't understand what these cleaning products we're doing. So it's really uh, becoming more aware. And when you look at what's happening and what they're dumping into our environment, it's kind of scary. So we really need to have an eye opener. And, and you know, when you're looking at toxins, household cleaners can bring extremely dangerous chemicals into your home, okay? Um, so some facts. Did you know that according to the CDC, Every day, over 300 children in North America, ages 0 to 19, are treated in an emergency department and two children die as a result of being poisoned. Um, it's not just chemicals in your home uh, marked um, in clear warning label labels that can be dangerous to children. Accidental poisonings from household cleaning products have doubled, and that was a Health Canada report. And the Federal Health Agency confirmed to CTV New um, .ca that um, the calls to poison, they actually, the calls to the poison control centers about hand sanitizers, disinfectants, and bleach jumped 103% from March 2019 to March 2020. That's a huge, huge jump. And Health Canada is monitoring um, child injuries from laundry detergent pods. Okay, so this is kind of scary. Did you know also that the Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit organization focused on environment and public health, they did a study that found just 7% of cleaning products adequately disclosed their contents. 53% of cleaning products under review uh, contained lung harming ingredients. In addition, um, well-known carcinogens like for, uh, formaldehyde and chloroform were found in several cleaners. Uh, so don't be, be fooled by green labels though, since their eco-friendly products can be misleading um, with their claims. So you really have to be careful. Um, and they also released uh, a cleaner's hall of, hall of shame list. Okay, so I'm not gonna, uh, they say that we shouldn't talk about other cleaners and put them up. And so you can actually, do this on your own <laughs> and find out the list and see um you know you don't i don't want to check it out right now because it's it's some of the cleaners that are out there that people are using every single day that that feel that it's safe um so you'd be really surprised and horrified at some of the products listed 
on there um, that you will recognize. And I'm going to share a quick story because Henry and Mary Ellen are away. They're in Florida right now. And uh, as you know, he was a police officer and I worked with him for, for, for a few years. And we were traffic um, constables at, some, at one point. And he was um, involved in an investigation where a tied truck spilled over and they had some emergency crews that had to come in and, um, and clean it up. And the police officers were on site. Many of those police officers had to, to go to the hospital to treat for um, burns to their esophagus. So you can just imagine, right? Like how harmful that is um, if they're even just, just around it, not even using it um, in, in their laundry. Um, so an, an analysis of respiratory illnesses in more than 7,000 young British children found that prenatal, prenatal exposure to common household products, particularly cleaners, was associated with persistent wheezing after birth. Okay, so think about that, right? Think of how many kids have asthma. Like when I went to school, I remember in high school, I think there was one person in the entire school that had asthma. Now how many kids have asthma? I remember when my kids were in school, um, at the front desk, the teacher had piles of puffers and inhalers that when kids would walk into their class and they'd have to put the puffers um, so that they were easy accessible to the teachers to administer to kids if they needed it, right? It's, it's kind of scary. So uh, it is a problem. This was um, um, a serious injury from homemade slime. Severe, uh, sorry, serves as a warning uh, for others who partake in social media craze. So apparently this uh, 11 year old girl's hands were covered in third degree burns after making slime. Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, so wash uh, away uh, over the counter cleaning products. Welcome a golden home care cleaning products. Uh, our golden care products have been green since the 1960s, long before um, it became the fashion. Uh, and again, when I started 33 years ago, it wasn't cool at all. It, it was just kind of like a strange thing that was happening. Um, our 100% biodegradable uh, formulas are 100% earth-friendly, low dose, low burden, um, with a cleaning technology that maximizes performance with a minimum amount of product. So we need very little product, very, very um, strong and you um, like as far as concentrated and you add the water. So the golden difference, 100% biodegradable will not harm septic tanks. This was one of the reasons why I was really excited because we live in the country, we grew up in the country. Um, sewage and disposal systems it's safe for or water treatment plants. It minimizes adverse environmental impact with low dose, low burden approach, low phosphate or phosphate free, derived from natural ingredients, a spares the landfill, non-toxic and safe, no harsh chemicals, no harsh fumes, gentle, non-irritating and drying. Economical, so when you look at um, how versatile um, these cleaning products are, so Super 10 is for like really heavy, heavy jobs. So your kitchen, bathroom, spot cleaning on your, on your clothing, if you spill some stains um, for your walls, for your windows, um, I, I remember even when wallpaper was a big fashion, it's coming back, by the way, I remember my friend Flo would use Super 10 to spray on the wallpaper and let it sit and the wallpaper would just, you know, kind of fall off. So kind of cool. So I know because sometimes you have to buy those toxic sprays to take off wallpaper. Then there's our LDC, which is a little more gentle and can also be used in your kitchen and bath, but wonderful for dishes, wonderful for spot cleaning, a hand washing, also walls and windows. Um, again, they're just, you just dilute them a little differently um, and um, they're very, very versatile. And then we do have a green product that's available only in the States, but we do kind of bring it into Canada when we can, um, but it's great for hand washing, fine washables. And, and I, I've been told that people are brushing their teeth with the green. So, um, and then there's our G1, which is an incredible laundry compound. Um, I also use it in the dishwasher. So again, very, 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 very versatile. So again, versatile, concentrated, um, again, using different dilutions that give you um, much more bang for your buck. 
uh, tackles tough, grimy jobs, penetrates stubborn stains. So here's our Super 10. Heavy duty, degreaser, um, triple action. It penetrates, it dissolves, it emulsifies. Okay, um, so good for the garage, for truck, uh, car, kitchen, patio, furniture, walls, windows, boats, pools, swimming pools. Wonderful for taking off the the, the kind of yucky stuff that builds up around a, a pool lining. Um, so for heavy duty jobs, you can dilute it three to one. Um, kitchen and bath. 20 to one, so very, very little. You don't need a lot um, of, of the cleaner. Pots and pans, 10 to one. Laundry, you can even put um, a, a, a cap full in your laundry. I tend to soak my workout clothes um, in a bucket with some Super 10. I, I find that if, when I exercise, especially with hot yoga, there's a lot of uh, detoxing, so the perspiration gets on my clothing, and there's a bit of a, kind of like a stink. And you know, sometimes... Uh, and, and it's funny because I don't smell, but the clothing, when it sits, it starts to smell. And I find sometimes when I wash it, I can still smell some of that odor. So I soak it in the Super 10 and then I put it directly in the wash. So it works wonderfully. Um, and for, for walls, um, 128 to 1. So windows, three drops in a 22-ounce spray bottle. If you put more than that, your windows will smear. Okay, so you don't need a lot when you're when you're trying to make like a Windex, okay, a non toxic Windex, and then our light duty cleaner, yes, great for dishwashing, triple action. It also emulsifies and it has the um, you know the different stabilizers. It's a wetting agent. So what that means is it makes water wetter, <laughs> if that's possible. Um, yet it's very gentle. And, uh, you know, again, great for the kitchen dishes, laundry, again, ha hand washing, walls and windows, four drops uh, in a 22 ounce um, spray bottle. And this is my favorite because I use it to wash all my fruits and veggies. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So it cleans um, every room in your home. So more mild. So um, when you're using um, washing floors, um, I tend to use the light duty cleaner as opposed to the Super 10 because the Super 10 could, it depends on, on the kind of um, uh, gloss they put on your wood flooring or protector. Um, so the light duty is better for wood. The Super 10 is fantastic for tiles and grout. Okay, so more heavy duty um, when you're getting in there and, and scrubbing. So again, the, the, the money you save based on dilution. So one LDC makes 10 bottles when diluted um, and the um, sorry make six bottles when diluted and the super 10 makes 11 bottles when diluted so very very economical the savings per year is over 700 dollars when you're looking at replacing the bottles that you would have been purchasing um, and then there's our g1 laundry powerful non-polluting detergent that protects your washing machine we're going to hear some stories against corrosion um, the free rinsing formula helps keep clothes bright and eliminates potentially irritating uh, residues. Rinses completely from clothes, so non-irritating. So if you have eczema, psoriasis, if you, if you have people that are sensitive, skin sensitive, um, you just need a small amount. Um, and it's low phosphate in Canada and phosphate free in the US, but it rinses 100%. There's nothing left. Um, we've had amazing testimonials um, on this product as well. And it lasts a long, long time. There's like a little scoop in there that you do per load and for front end loader, even lose, use less, very, very little. And yes, you can use it for front end loader. So we've got some amazing testimonials. But the environmental impact, our cleaning products have kept more than 490 million ready to use mass market bottles from the environment a total of 70,000 miles, okay? That's three times around the world, guys. <laughs> John Miller loves this stat. One of our scientists, when he talks about this, he's like, he just has this big, massive grin and thinks, this is what we're doing to help save the environment, right? So again, low dose, low burden, and 100% uh, biodegradable. So when you look at earth-friendly, saving money, safe, powerful, versatile, that's golden products and life-saving, okay, especially when you're looking at poison. Now, also, I wanted to share with you um, a couple of amazing things that Neolife has done 
with our LDC in Super 10. So our LDC has come to the rescue in a cleanup operation. We have saved over 25,000 penguins in Cape Town, South Africa um, in an oil spill. And they've actually come to the rescue a couple more times after this article. And also a clean home for butterflies um, at the Barado House um, of Butterflies in Friuli, Italy. Um, Golden Super 10 and LDC are the only cleaners deemed powerful enough to protect against bacteria and parasites, yet gentle enough to cause no harm to the most delicate young butterflies. This is really, really cool. So now we're going to watch a very cool video um, that some of you might not have seen. of June 2000 over the city of Cape Town on the southern tip of the African continent, the unseasonably calm weather could hardly have hinted at the environmental disaster which was about to shatter the winter respite of this fairest Cape. A Panamanian registered ore carrier, the Treasure, entering the Cape Town harbour was found to have a large tear in its hull. Fearing it may sink, Cape Maritime authorities took the vessel in tow and dragged it out to sea. Soon afterwards, the tow connection snapped and the ore carrier sank six kilometers off the coast. The 13,000 tons of fuel oil started leaking immediately. Penguins covered in oil came ashore on Robben Island, 20 kilometers to the south the very next day. This historic island, only recently declared a World Heritage Site, has the third largest breeding population of African penguins in the world. A larger colony on Dusson Island, 60 kilometers to the north, was also soon threatened by the drifting oil spill. Within days, this is what 20% of the world's remaining African penguin population looked like. The drama that unfolded over the next two months was to become the largest single rescue operation of oiled wildlife in history. Were it not for the swift, concerted and unselfish efforts of thousands of volunteers, some from as far afield as the United States, Germany and Australia, 40,000 of the total population of 160,000 penguins could have been wiped out, contributing to the early extinction of the species in their natural habitat. And responding to oil spills has become one of our specializations, unfortunately. Um... Sankov, the South African National Council for the Care of Coastal Birds, who coordinated the rescue operation, have almost perfected the technique of capturing, cleaning and caring for oiled seabirds. But the overwhelming scale of this disaster was something never before encountered. Washing the oil off the birds is the most critical part of the entire rehabilitation process. The secret lies in the technique of cleaning. Oil destroys a bird's waterproofing, causing the feathers to clump together, leading to hypothermia and the loss of buoyancy in cold sea water. An oil bird will not hunt, but mobilize its fat reserves and will eventually dehydrate and die. Force feeding the oil birds is the only way to avoid starvation. A challenge faced by volunteers was to clean the birds before they suffered the long-term effects of petrochemical poisoning. The other crucial challenge encountered by the volunteers in washing the penguins was to use a cleaning agent which was highly effective in dissolving the thick black oil without further harming the already traumatized birds. From the onset of the campaign, Sankob considered only one cleaning product, 
GNLD's LDC Light Duty Concentrate. Earlier experience, most notably during the sinking of the Apollo Sea off the Cape West Coast six years earlier, had proven beyond a doubt the effectiveness of this remarkable household cleaner. LDC's effectiveness lies in its oil and fat dispersing properties and the fact that this low dose, low burden pH neutral detergent is as gentle on the penguins as on the people washing them. Depending on the extent of the oiling and the condition of each bird, the washing process can take anywhere from 20 minutes to over an hour. After repeated washes in warm water with LDC and careful scrubbing with a toothbrush, the penguins are rinsed thoroughly until their feathers regain their natural waterproofing. This is achieved during rinsing and the tiny feathers effectively repel the water and remain dry. No other commercial or industrial cleaner could produce these remarkable results without any side effects whatsoever. After a quick visit to the vet and a vitamin injection, the cleaned birds enjoy their first swim in their specially constructed pools, eagerly awaiting their eventual release back into the sea once the oil spill has been cleared up. Following the sinking of the treasure in June, GNLD distributors were quick off the mark, personally donating many litres of LDC to the operation. This was also matched by a generous bulk donation by GNLD. But as the extent of the disaster grew, it became apparent that thousands rather than hundreds of litres of LDC were required to tackle the task of washing the estimated 15,000 heavily oiled birds at the emergency rescue station housed in a massive warehouse in Salt River in Cape Town. GNLD staff, working closely with the rescue coordinators, arranged for an emergency consignment of over seven and a half thousand liters of LDC to be rushed to Cape Town. Without it, the cleaning operation would simply have ground to a halt. Thousands of the birds were transported to Port Elizabeth. Tons of oil has put some 55,000 penguins at risk. But the arrival of this crucial consignment was met with relief and jubilation by volunteers and rescue workers. Witnessing the extent of the cleaning task at hand and the enormous cost of the entire operation, GNLD distributors, staff and management put their heads together and launched a campaign to raise funds for the purchase of LDC. The unspoken aim was to provide enough LDC to wash every penguin affected by the disaster. Over the course of the next month, while people around the world followed the progress of the celebrity penguins Percy, Peter and Pamela on their journey home over the internet, GNLD distributors plugged away at raising funds for the real issue, cleaning the thousands of birds before time ran out. GNLD distributors, customers, staff, friends and family, school children, businesses and concerned individuals from South and Southern Africa generously responded to the appeal to buy a litre of LDC and save a penguin. As the days turned into weeks, the amount of LDC donated increased steadily. And by the end of August, over 120,000 rands worth of this extraordinary and vital product was donated. A fantastic effort and a job well done. All 15,000 oiled penguins could greet the arrival of spring in southern Africa on the 1st of September a whole lot cleaner than before and without a laundry bill to go with it, thanks to the efforts of their GNLD friends. A letter of appreciation from Sankob to distributors, customers and staff puts their contribution neatly into perspective. You have been involved in a rescue operation that is unprecedented in history. Never have we been able to save and rehabilitate so many oiled birds in such a short time frame. On behalf of Sankob and the international team, thank you, GNLD. You know, I don't know how many times I've seen this video and I still get teared up. I don't know. Hey, guys, some of us have been around a long, long time. And it just puts a smile on my face. I get emotional. And, I, and sometimes I forget about this story. But every once in a while, and I haven't seen this video oh, probably for a couple of years now. So I was so happy to, to add this to our presentation tonight. Because especially for those of you that are fairly new to Neolife, 
Um, this is just a little bit of, of the amazing things that our company has done to help people all over the world. And our little penguins are just, oh, they were so cute, especially when they were, did you see them kind of running into the water? I know, Leone, I saw your face. It was so cute. I was like, uh, anyways, uh, so, you know, the soap was amazing to clean the penguins, but what about our food? <laughs> this is a, a video um, that I wanted to play. I've done this video myself, but this was, I, um, I found this because it was a little uh, more clear. So here's a, a, just an amazing demo on how this light duty cleaner called LDC um, can also clean uh, your fruits and veggies. Hey, this is Julia. Just wanted to show you one of our Neolife Golden products, LDC is a, a highly concentrated light duty cleaner that's eco-friendly and biodegradable. I want to show you how we use it to wash our organic fruits and vegetables. Um, but first I'll show you, this hasn't been washed yet. I want to show you how the water kind of just beads off the broccoli. You can kind of see. So I don't know, this just has, this sink just has water in it. I'm washing this like I would maybe to clean it before I cut it and eat it the um, water still beading off of it. So I'm going to add just one squirt of our LDC. It can work in hot and cold water. I'm just going to mix it in here real quick. So you can see how much, how little you need really. So I'm going to take the broccoli and I'm just going to whoosh it in here a little bit. Do a quick clean. And what happens is it's it's breaking the surface tension of the wax that's on there and lifting it up and removing it. So I'm gonna show you what, how the water just goes right through it after being washed. You can see that it has removed all that wax and now the fruit or vegetable is being washed completely now. I'm gonna show you one other quick demonstration. This is an, another one I have not cleaned yet. I just wanna show you how little of this product you have to use to make it work. This mixture that I have in here is uh, one ounce to about 20 ounces of water. And I'm just gonna take a couple quick sprays of it and show you how it goes right through again. It does not take very much of this product at all. We also use this product um, to wash all of our dishes. We can use it to wash our children in the bathtub. Um, I use it for all my surface cleaning in the home. Um, and I also have a, another mix for glass cleaning. So it just takes a few drops of that. It's very um, economical in that way. If you have any questions about it, I'd love to help you with it. There we go. So that's just, I thought that was kind of, it was a, a lot clearer than the video that I've done in the past. So I thought I'd play that one for you guys tonight. Um, oops, there we go. All right. Um, so Earth Day is every day with Golden Home Care, right? And this is actually a little cleaning kit that you can purchase from Neolife, especially if you're a promoter and you want to do demos and presentations. So this is a great little cleaning kit. And it's, I mean, if you like having a little kit like this in your home when you're cleaning, it's definitely available uh, for you to purchase as well. I love this little kit. I have a few of them in my home and I use them for demos as well. Um, and I know that I don't think Heather is joining us this evening, but Heather uh, put together this, um, oh, there she is, she is on tonight. I wasn't sure if Heather would be on tonight. Okay, Heather, I love this um, uh, beautiful little um, um, presentation you put together on just to showing the savings when you're purchasing uh, these bottles. I don't know if you if you wanna chat and, and share the flyer and how you put this together and, and uh, explain it. I could read it, but I thought since you put it together, did you want to? Uh, to share this flyer with us? Um, sure, I can just um, tell you what, what happened. I, I saw a couple of ads in my local paper for some cleaners and that's the ad right there in the corner. So I thought, well, let's, let's break it down um, by the milliliter. So I took the prices and whatever the uh, amount was in the bottle that was being advertised and broke it down. And uh, so you've got the specialty floor cleaner, there was a regular price. They have a special price of eight forty-seven per liter, um, and the so the store brand was what was that store brand sale price? Um, so it was four eighty per liter. Sorry, I haven't looked at this myself for a little while. And then there was another heavy-duty cleaner that was being advertised, and Natura had heavy-duty cleaner, and I just broke it down to the Super Ten. Uh, member price and that was the member price at that time um, 
this is a few years old, then March 2021, I guess it was. And um, so you can see that they compared to the Natura, which broke down to 275 per liter, and that was a special price that was being advertised. And then the Super 10 was 233 per liter. And, um, you know, in the floor cleaner is 275 uh, for the Super 10 and uh, 480 per liter was the sale price of the store, store brand. So these were special prices and our regular prices. And of course you can get the discount with member prices. And so, you know, that's, that's really great. So it makes sense, <laughs> literally makes sense to switch. Uh, get the concentrated cleaner, don't pay for the water, you get great cleaners, and uh, it's certainly cost effective. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And you know, you know, you think that people think that buying clean products or green products would cost more. That's right away they think, oh, you know, if it's that good, and it's safe, then you know, it's, it's going to be way more expensive, right? So um, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it saves you money by using these amazing, amazing cleaners. And, and you know, when you're looking at um, the Neolife philosophy, and, and all of our supplements, um, you know, that are based in nature and backed by science, and we have an amazing uh, um, a doctor, do, Dr. Don, uh, sorry, Dr. Arthur First, who was uh, the founded uh, the Stanford Cancer Chemotherapy Laboratory, and he uh, was credited with being the founder of chemotherapy. He led Neolife Scientific Advisory Board for 25 years, uh, a PhD in chemistry from Stanford, a doctor of science from the University of San Francisco, a diplomat of the Academy of Toxicological Sciences, a distinction held by fewer than 100 scientists around the world. Now he shifted his focus to prevention and ending the trend of chronic disease. He is an incredible mind. We're so grateful to have him part of our scientific advisory board. Um, and you know, when you talk to him about you know um, chemicals and toxins in our environment, he really, really had a strong um, belief that we need to to keep our kids away. From these toxic cancer causing chemicals they're agents that can harm you especially if, if you're around them for a long long time so little kids are on the floor playing on the floor you know if you're using toxic cleaners or use even using those toxic shampoo carpets those uh, soaps to wash your, your carpets very very toxic so you got to keep your kids and pets away from that and he was very very dedicated to, to supporting um, this and uh, very very powerful see here okay where are we oh sorry about that um so as you can see earth friendly uh golden home care and if some of you are wondering that video that says gnld so those of you that are fairly new new to neolife, life so gnld was like is like our 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 company, Golden Neolife Diamide International. So it used to be, we used to call it GNLD, but then our founder decided, you know what? We got to call it what we are. And Neolife is the nutritional line. Golden was the home care. Uh, so that's why we've gone back to Neolife, but it's still the same company. It's just the way they call us in some of these other countries. So um, Golden Products is the home care. Uh, envir envir environmentally responsible. Um, uh, residential and commercial cleaners safe enough for children. And we do have um, a couple of friends that have a cleaning um, company in, uh, they live in um, in Guelph and that's all they use is the Neolife cleaning products and they clean industrial buildings and offices and things like that. And, and it's really cool because I even knew some people that owned some cleaning companies like that cleaned houses and they would actually ask um, to use the home care, the Neolife home care products. Um, in their homes, they really enjoyed the scent and the freshness. When they walked into the home, it didn't smell toxic. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have some of you that are on this evening just share uh, maybe some of your favorites. Uh, mine, uh, actually, I'll, I'll start off with saying my Super 10 because my son Jack was two when he drank some. Um, so some of you that know the aloe vera juice, it's yellow and it looks very much like the the uh, the super 10 con content and and the bottle was underneath my kitchen sink like where most of us keep our cleaners and and Jack loved the aloe and uh, and I guess when he saw the bottle under the sink, the colors kind of looked the same. It didn't say aloe, but he couldn't read at the time. Uh, so he decided to open it and take a swig. And uh, I just kind of looked at him. I went, Jack. 
And he goes, aloe. I said, no, stop aloe. <laughs> so I gave him a glass of water and off he went. Whereas if it would have been anything else, I would have been calling poison control. Um, all right. Uh, Leone, if you want to share any, any of your favorites. Uh, well, um, yeah, actually my favorite is, uh, well, all, all of my favorites, but um, um, I like the LDC particularly because, I mean, in as many uses, I mean, we've used it as for shampoos, body washes, um, even Steve uses it for shaving, uh, especially when it's run out, you know, stuff in it. It's really smooth. Um, and also when we had our dog, Max, uh, it was really good because you, you, you know, just like your pets and your your children who crawl on the floor and stuff on the floor, that it's so safe and it was fine. And I've noticed that even walking, I cannot walk through the aisles of like, you know, when you go to the supermarket uh, um, and you just walk through all those, I cannot breathe because it's so mm -hmm. toxic. So, you know, obviously we all know how, how wonderful these products are and yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's really good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm glad you mentioned Max and animals. Uh, so anybody ever animals get involved with skunks? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot also. Yes. I used to sh uh, shampoo him as well with the uh, LDC. It's great yeah. for that. Yeah. And the skunk yeah. thing. Yes. He did get sprayed one time. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. And, and what's <laughs> nice is it gets rid of the odor. So even mm. if it's in the kitchen and you're, you know, when you're chopping onions and garlic and your fingers can smell of garlic and onions, the LDC will remove that odor, odor as mm -hmm. well. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. When? No. Oh, you got to unmute though, hon. Unmute. Sorry, everybody's muted. Oh, you locked me out. <laughs> I was going to say that I as well really love to use my uh, LDC. It's just the dilution. It's the one in, I think it's really one in eight for me in my little squirt bottle. Anyway, I uh, use that for my dishwashing, for my cleaning cutting boards. If I cut up onions, I cut up garlic. They get smelly too. And you just have to put a little bit on them and rub it all around, rinse it off with hot water. I put it up to my face and I can't smell the garlic and onions anymore. Awesome. But my biggest story is when I gave both of my, my sons and their wives um, one of those kits. It was a long time ago before they had all the, the little bottles in it and all that. So they got a, an eight, uh, a Super 10 and an LDC. And unbeknownst to me, my, my, um, my youngest son's wife, she wasn't sure. You know, She thought, oh, you know, this is just when trying to get us to use their products. And I wasn't even selling them then. I just wanted them to have safe products because they all had little kids at that time. Anyway, she decided to test it on her white shag rug under the dining room table, which was now no longer a white shag rug because kid dropping and all that stuff and grounding it in under the dining room table, what a place to do it. She said she did it bit by bit and she just was totally amazed that it came up looking like new when she finally got through the, cause it was just a, you know, bit under the table. And, so Wonderful. I was really impressed with that because I'd never tested it to that degree. So awesome. Amazing. And that was the super 10, that one diluted. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Heather, anything that you want to add? Nope, you're good. I'll think about it. I, sorry. Okay. I don't yeah, no worry. No, no. Time. I just didn't want to miss you. Sean, Sean, Sean. Hi there. Um, I have a couple, I guess. We have a uh, stand-up shower that has a glass wall and I spray it with, I think I use like one to five on my bathrooms, but I see maybe I could dilute it even more to one to 10, but I spray the glass wall and then that soap scum that comes off, like it just comes off no problem at all. Um, the other thing is when I have a grease stain on clothing, I use the LDC and not the super 10. I didn't think I put the super 10 in with my laundry, but I use the LDC and I just do a little scrub and then I put it through the wash and the grease stains are gone. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Sean, because the LDC is good for food, uh, like for food stains like grass and things like that. Um, and, and the super 10, it works well as well, but for some reason, the LDC works better when, when you're looking at, at food stains. So mm. excellent. Thank you. Joan. So one of my favorite with the LDC is to remove burnt food from the, your pot. You know, when you leave your do, pot. Do you, burn, do you burn your cooking, Joan? <laughs> not, me, not me, but there's no blame game anymore because it's, okay. <laughs> it's easy to clean. So you don't, you don't fuss about it, right? I used yeah. to, but you just put a couple drops 
um, let it soak for about 10 minutes and just lifts the food up. Yeah. Just clean the pot. So that's my yeah. third one. And just to mention, not myself personally, but um, people use it to remove lice from the kid's, mm -hmm. kid's head. And you can explain that, Nada, how, how the process yeah. Yeah, so what the, what the LDC does, it doesn't kill the lice, but you know how the lice has like a, almost like a, um, a wax coating that protects, protects it from the environment? So the LDC just removes that wax coating and then they don't survive and they're easier to pick out of the kid's hair. <laughs> and some of you know my kids, some of you know my kids' hair. Luke's hair is like poof, curly jacks of a ton of hair. Anyways, yeah, it was it was a challenge, but it it worked really well. Thank you, Joan. Cindy. Yeah, I like everybody. They're all my favorites, really. Um, and lots lots of stories on and and just um somebody was asking about uh brushing your teeth with the LDC I actually have once <laughs> I did and it was fine I'm still alive <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah I just wanted to share about I still remember my first time using the G1 laundry compound and I just kept smelling the towels because there was no smell and so no toxic residues and didn't need to use any uh, fabric softeners. So um, I know some people like that smell, but to me it was just, oh, it just smelled so clean. Um, and mm -hmm. also too, I remember while well, your aunt who introduced me to Neolife um, talking about how she used to always with her septic system, she'd have to have it like blasted out or cleaned out. But once she was using the G1, um, she no longer had to do that and uh, yeah and you're in your you know your blacks stay black and uh, your your colors stay their their nice colors so uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah yeah that's uh, as I say I can still remember that very first time I used G1. Yeah and you know what's funny you say that about your black staying black and your clothes staying really good. Um, I had I remember I don't know if you remember the the, the days of peach I had peach towels um, that were given to me for my uh, bridal shower. And uh, do you know, they stayed peach for like 20 years. And my sister, I got her some beautiful mint green towels for her um, um, wedding as a, as, a, as, a, as a bridal gift. Beautiful, expensive from the Bay. And I remember she, she did not use the G1. Um, she was still like the smell of that toxic soap <laughs> being in her she wanted the, the the stuff to smell clean and those towels I think it was maybe 10 years later they were no longer mint green they were like a whitey color and there was like little holes and they were it, the fabric was actually falling apart and my towels still looked like they were brand new so definitely the lifespan of your of your clothes and your towels last a long long time so thank you so much for, for reminding me uh cindy uh patience you shared some pretty cool things today um earlier today do you want to share maybe a little bit uh, about your story and, and the cleaning you've been using them for a long time well i've used them from i joined new life in 96 so i've used the cleaning products since about 97 uh, even when i moved to canada in 2003 i Found the office in Mississauga, and I used to go buy the products. I actually still have one of those blue things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those oh. I use for dilution. So excellent. Yeah, I use the products for basically everything. All the cleaning in my house, I use it for washing my body. I use washing my body. I actually dilute the LDC. One, I use these oil things, the five liter things. I put in one bottle of LDC and then I add one bottle of the wash and shower gel, bath and shower gel. Oh, wow. Yeah, just to get that tiny, nice scent of it. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that attracted me to New Life products was my fingers remained my fingers. They were not peeling. Um, I have allergy issues and I was not sneezing with the cleaning products. So that's one of the things that attracted to me to the near life products. Then there is the scum in the bathtub. Anybody ever use that Vim and you have to spray and then leave the bathroom and then come back and scrub the bathtub yeah. and the walls. So being able to just wash out stuff, I can stand in my bathtub and wash the bathtub. Yeah. So that is really nice. And then now the, the wooden floor is easy to clean. The tiles in the kitchen are easy to clean. There is no blockages in the sink. 
um, the oven is easy to clean. I spray it, leave it in for a while and then come back and wash it. So the oven is easy to clean my products. And you just talked about the colors of the things, of the clothing, the towel especially. Now I, rem I remember that some towels that I have, I've had them for about 15 years and they're still the same color and they're bright pink and bright green. They're still the same color. So that's quite nice. The irritation on the skin. Or, and then there is um, the insects on the plants. Mm. Yeah, I dilute Super 10 maybe like 1 to 20. Yeah. And I think it's the same effect of that washing off their skin, the, the layer on their skin. Yes. And then they eventually die. So I spray it on my plants in the summer. My mom um, does too. Yeah. Yeah. So I think those are some of my favorite things about them. I just okay. love the products. My kids told me when they when they were young, they used to tell me, mommy, can you buy these other cleaning products that other people use? You go, because they go to other people's houses and they had other cleaning products. And I refused just because they, they really wanted to get that scenty stuff. Yeah. And I always told them I don't like the scents because they make me sneeze. Yeah. So when they grew up and they were able to go out and buy for themselves, they started buying those products. Awesome. Now, my young one left the house and he actually last weekend, he asked me, mommy, can you please buy me some cleaning soap? <laughs> so I think he's coming back to it. That's great. And you know what, you know what it is? It's true when they, when they start using some of those other things. And it's funny you say that I had somebody give me some clothes that they were getting rid of. And they thought of me thinking, oh, now that this would look so nice on you. So I, I got them all and um, they smelled so bad. I could not put them on I actually wrapped them in the bag tied the bag tight and then I I did a load of wash using um our cleaners and do you know that it did not I had to wash them again and again three washes to get that toxic smell out before I could wear those clothes that's how um strong and how toxic those uh the cleaners are so yeah yeah. So yeah, you're right. Once your kids get away and they come back and it's like, they, they appreciate, right. Uh, that. So yep. thank you so much patience for, for sharing that. Yes, Joan. Are you, you muted, you muted again, hon, by accident. Sorry. Yes. So Mary Ellen's clients, the ones that have ex eczema on their bodies, yep. they're changing the to G1 and it helps. That's what she has said. Because sorry, sorry, say that again. Sorry, the cat came out. <laughs> the cat came out yeah. about eczema for the. I think that was the the G one, right, Mary Ellen? Yeah. Or yeah. Mary Ellen talked about yes. Because yeah. the others had very the, irritated the skin, whereas the G one yeah. did. So that that was why. yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Cindy. You had your hand up, or was that just a? Uh, yeah, no, I, I something I, I wanted to share about the G1 that I forgot about years and years and years ago. I don't know if you remember, Nato, when I'd had um, like kind of an in home at the house then at, um, at night. And you know how we do the demos with the G1 and then with the other cleaner, other product. And I'd used a one that uh, that I'd had from Costco. And then, of uh, the next morning, I hadn't bothered to clean it out, but the next morning, the one, well, the one with the G1 was just nice and clear, but the one from the Costco, the spoon was still in there that I used for stirring, and I could tip it right upside down, and there was like a layer of fat or scum or something, and... I remember that. I remember you in there, so, so that's what's you in your clothes. clothes. Yeah. 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 It doesn't rinse out. Yeah, so so yeah. picture that. So we did a demo. The powder's in the glass. The spoon is inside. And overnight, it gelled and formed this thick layer of scum on top of the glass that Cindy could actually tip the cup upside down. And the spoon was still in the cup. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for, for sharing that with me. Yeah, so there you go. This is um, one of the reasons. Um, oh, what cleaner was used to clean the shower? glass shower in the wall and move oh the, the super 10 michelle and you know what's lovely you can shower i keep a spray bottle in the shower 
So um, while I'm showering, and you know how sometimes the soap hits the shower and stuff and it kind of starts to drip down, I just give it a quick spray and, and so that it doesn't build up. Um, but it works amazing, the super tan in the shower, getting rid of all the soap scum and all the scum that builds up. Uh, any, any mold and mildew uh, as well. Uh, Leonie, you had something to add? Yeah, I just have one last one uh, that happened recently. Jacqueline's boys came to change our tires. And oh, yeah. I remember uh, Jordan and Jaden, they came in with greasy hands and they were gonna touch my, open my, my bathroom. Do I go, wait, wait, wait. So I came and I sprayed the uh, Super 10 just the squirts on the end, they go like this and they run like this. And you know what? It washed up. It was just amazing because they were greasy, right? Working on the car. So yeah. that was so cool just to see it, you know, and they go, wow, this works. Yeah. So of course, you know, so that's a, you know, something that, that really is powerful cleaner, right? And gentle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Powerful and gentle. Awesome. Anything else before we go off on to the next? I just want to thank you so much for sharing. So I think it's the stories and, and we've experienced these products so many different ways. Oh, I know. Um, I, I remember someone shared with me that if you spray a little bit of LDC around your plants when you're yep. watering, the water disperses better and goes down. You know, sometimes water runs off and the water's not getting to the roots of your plants. So that's an, especially when you have a very dry, dry um, spell. That also works, especially around plants that you know need to get more water to, to do well, to thrive. So that's another. Saves on your water bill. Yeah. Yeah. Saves on your water bill. Absolutely. Yeah. That's Thank the you. same effect with the, 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 the making water wetter. Yes. That's mm. the same effect. Yes. Uh, okay. something. And oh, it's, we... LDC is very safe to brush your teeth, by the way. Yes. I, I, I saw that it was safe to brush your teeth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Heather. Uh, yeah, um, I don't think anyone's mentioned this, but um, because they're so safe, and of course they're safe in the ocean because the penguins, right? Um, it's great to be able to use them along around the shore uh, in boats, on boats, yeah. wiping yeah. off boats. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we, we use it. Uh, we have a kayak and it's kind of like a pebbly texture and um, it, can, it builds up, you know, there's a lot of um, dirt that just gets on it when it's being stored on the shore and everything. Mm -hmm. So I uh, just give it a spray of the, uh, the super tan, let it sit for a little bit and then spray it off with the, uh, the power wash or, you know, a hose. And it, it's just, it's great. And I feel so good being able to use it and have it safe going into our waterways. Yes, into the waters. And you know how people bathe in the lake? The using the LDC mm -hmm. in the lake is great yeah. for bathing as well. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. that's great, especially for cottagers. Mm -hmm. uh, and someone just put in the in the post that they use it to clean their jewelry. I have done that as well. Both yeah. LDC and Super yeah. Ten is fantastic for for jewelry cleaning um, for jewelry cleaning as well. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much for for sharing um, some of the things time. you've yeah. used our our biodegradable cleaners mm -hmm. for I'm and. Sure. Uh, I know this is a video that we can share so we can um, pass that on to some of our customers if they're curious how these amazing products can work effectively and also uh, save them money. So thank you so much for, for sharing guys. And you know what, there is one more option for some of you that are wondering, well, you know, um, what else is involved? Well, you know, if, if you are looking at generating an income and building a business, this company has such an incredible income opportunity and the cleaning products are just a part of it. I have so many people that love the cleaners. So, you know, if you or you enjoy uh, helping others, um, this is just one thing that you can do to, to build an incredible income. If you want to know more, we do have a, a Facebook group called The Ideal Business where people share amazing um, stories and success stories um, on the business opportunities. If you're curious, just ask the person that invited you. Um, and, you know, to get started as a customer, it's free. As soon as you become a member, you automatically get a 10% savings. There's a way to get 20%. Um, without any gimmicks and no requirements, just savings. And um, we also have loyalty points where you can get all your shipping back. And to build a business in Canada, it's $98 to invest or 75 in the US. So it really, it unlocks a 25% savings, a uh, full access to the compensation plan. And, you know, you don't do this by yourself. We work together as a team um, and you can really generate um, an incredible uh, incredible um, part-time income that could build to an in, a full-time income like myself where I wanted to leave uh, you know my police career and we have total health products 
for, for wellness as well. So if you're looking at energy, vitality, digestion, um, balancing your hormones, just filling the nutritional gaps in your diet. Um, remember I mentioned how you can get a 20% savings? Well, if you go on, on what we call NeoShip, you get a 20% discount. And those cleaning products, you don't want them coming every month. So you don't want those on NeoShip because they last anywhere from six months to a year. Uh, but if you have any nutritional product on a NeoShip, uh, so for example, a multivitamin pack or a protein shake, you can get 20% on any order that you place, which can be your cleaning product. So the savings is fantastic. So if you're curious about, you know, some of our nutritional line and you have some health issues, just again, ask us and we can guide you uh, in that in that direction as well. So again, I want to thank you so much. For, for joining. I want to thank you for uh, you that shared uh, your amazing stories on our cleaning products. If you're just looking at trying the cleaning products, give them a try. If you're curious about, um, you know, some of the other nutritional line, just reach out to us. If you're thinking about, hey, I'd like to earn a little extra money or maybe have a tax savings at the end of the year, um, we can show you how you can do that as well. And if you want to learn more, join us every Thursday. Every week we do a different talk, a different topic with amazing testimonials to give you a better understanding of who we are, what we do, and the Neo Life difference. So again, I thank you so much for joining us. I will um, stop the recording and open up to any questions from some of our guests that have joined us tonight. So thank you so much. Oh, Patience, did you want to add something before I stop the recording or is that? I just wanted to remind me the, the name of that, um, the couple that does the cleaning product, the cleaning demos, the South African couple, in the US? Oh, they're from Not Arizona. The the most. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. Joe knows their name. I'll think of it. I'll think yeah, of it. Because they have a good they have a good video on the business builders. Yes. One Cindy? of Josh's interviews. They're the ones in Arizona. Um, she's a pharmacist. Yes, I'll think of it. Let me just stop this for now and then I'll think of it. Give me one second. Thank you for joining. I think they us. did a demo at the convention as well. Yes, they did.